Hi everybody. I know it's been a really long time since I've posted a video and I do apologize. Um, I plan on posting more videos in the future from this point, but I'll, we'll get into that in a minute. I had some interesting information I wanted to share with y'all. Um, for anybody that follows the Get Limitless blog, you might recall a couple months back I had posted a blog uh, on a study that was done. Um, basically, scientists figured out a way to get the brain to encode information into long-term memory within minutes. The study was fascinating. Uh, and at the time that I learned about it, I thought it was really cool, but I didn't realize how awesome it was until I reread it and kind of really paid attention. Basically what these guys did was they took uh, groups of students, um, a few hundred I believe, and they split them up. What happened was the results of the study revealed that 60 minutes of instruction, a grand total of 90 minutes of time using this method, uh, actually was just as effective and in some cases uh, according to the testing done more effective than four months of traditional instruction by from a teacher in school uh, basically what the method is is um, you take 20 minutes of condensed material uh, highly condensed material um, maybe well four months worth of information compacted into 20 minutes um, and then after 20 minutes of showing this information not taking notes not uh, quizzing just literally presenting the information uh, then you do 10 minutes of a complete other activity uh, preferably physical something that will not activate really any part of the brain that was activated during the learning of the lesson uh, come back to the lesson, 20 more minutes of condensed material, uh, not necessarily new material, but presented in a, a different way, a continuation of the same material that you were just learning. 10 more minutes of uh, distraction with another activity. It has to be an activity. It can't just be sitting dormant. You have to actually engage the brain just in other ways. And then 20 more minutes of condensed material. Um, that formula right there uh, essentially takes the information and encodes it into long-term memory. Um, the testing, uh, the study that they did, they took these students, they took some of them, they put them in four months of, of class, uh, they took some of them and uh, they gave them the condensed material uh, in an hour of condensed material. They took some of them and they gave them both and the results of the study pretty much revealed that this long-term uh, memory hack, for lack of a better word, was just as effective, uh, but obviously significantly shorter amount of time. So this was presented as kind of a paradigm uh, for uh, a new way for students to learn in institutional uh, uh, learning facilities. Now, where it's coming from uh, with this video. Um, I was thinking about all of the different ways that I have experimented with cognitive enhancement and uh, sometimes they overlap, sometimes they don't have anything to do with each other, sometimes they can be stacked, a lot of times they can't. Uh, they affect the brain in different ways. But I thought about TDCS specifically, um, how I have learned and others who have experimented with it have learned uh, essentially what TDCS does is cuts the learning curve. It activates uh, neural pathways and gets neurons firing um, and I guess the increased activity in the brain just causes you to make less mistakes, uh, gets you to the skill level or uh, knowledge retention faster. Um, however, the mechanism that TDCS uses, uh, it doesn't sound like it would interfere in any way with this particular brain hack. So, if you combine the two, uh, you come up with what I like to call the super learning formula. Essentially, what I'm suggesting is that you take a, a TDCS session and then uh, expose yourself to condensed um, novel information that you're you know, obviously going to be taking on the learning of, and then follow the experimental uh, uh, guidelines. 10 minutes of activity of some kind, boxing, dancing, something 
physical takes your mind away from what you were just learning. Come back and learn 20 minutes. Uh, so one TDCS session and then within the time frame of 20 minutes of learning, 10 minutes of activity, 20 minutes of learning, 10 minutes of activity, 20 minutes of learning. So a grand total of 90 minutes, you could potentially increase your learning capabilities by a tremendous amount. And I want to experiment with this so bad, but right now my schedule will not allow it. I do not have 90 minutes a day or even 90 minutes a week to give to any project. Um, but I wanted to present this information so that those of you who have been following my experiments or who have taken on experience of your, of your own can know about it and maybe try it. I would love for somebody to try this and if you'd be willing to share your data with me that would be fantastic. Just to see uh, the accelerated results that somebody would get uh, utilizing these two amazing methods of cognitive enhancement. Uh, so that's what I came on here to present. I will uh, include a link to the study in the underbar and a link to an article that I plan on writing about it just detailing things more in print uh, for those of you who learn better by reading, like me. Um, beyond that, uh, I know I don't mention it a lot, but I'm sure most of you know that I have a blog, getlimitless.com. my website. There's a blog on there. Um, maybe you've been to it before. I want to encourage everybody to go visit it, uh, if for no other reason than to read the article that I plan to write about this particular subject. Uh, but also, there's a forum that I think would be awesome if anybody who... Uh, does any self-experimentation at all would go on and talk about their experiences um, because that's the reason why I created the forum so people could talk about these things and learn from each other so I uh, just kinda wanted to add a little shameless plug uh, at the bottom of this uh, video so that's what's up with me um, thank you so much for tuning in be well and do good things